Hey guys, welcome back to Xpop channel. Myself Rakesh, and as you already know, we have started the UiPath certification preparation playlist. And I hope you have visited our channel and started utilizing the videos inside this playlist. So today we are going to attempt one more question. So let's see. Let's get started. So the first question is, which activity is valid? In the condition of a retry scope activity, right? Which activity is valid in the condition of a retry scope activity? That means it it is asking you if you use a retry scope activity in the condition box, which is which one of this you are going to use? So this is a very simple answer. Okay, this is a very simple answer. We should not stop here. We have to know everything around this retry scope activity. Because there will be questions. For example, if I am going to use a retry scope activity within a try catch block, and for the retry scope activity, if continue on error is enabled, what would be the output? So in that case, you should experiment and know everything about this. You can't just rely only on one question. So let's go to Studio and start experimenting it. Now for this. I would need a notepad. Let's open a notepad. Okay, and I want you to enable the show classic. If you have not enabled, click on this filter option and click on show classic, because our experiment will be based on couple of classic activities. So enable show classic. Okay, now what we will do? Let's say I will try click activity. And I I do not want to use the modern click activity. Rather, the modern click activity will have this kind of a round symbol. Let's go down, and I need this one. Okay, so this is the classic activity. I will drag and drop it. Now I'll go to the notepad. Let's click on indicate on screen, and in the notepad I wanted to click on file. So what is the best use case scenario? If the notepad is open, and if you run this, what are we expecting? We are expecting the UI path to open the notepad and click on file, right? So you can see it has opened the notepad and clicked on file. What would happen if I'm going to close this? Okay. Now before you understand retry scope, this is very important. So hit on run. So what would happen exactly when the click activity is going to execute? It's going to throw an error. It's going to throw an error. But this error would take 30 seconds, right? After 30 seconds only, the error would appear. So you can actually tweak. Instead of 30 seconds, I want the error to appear in five seconds. So what can I do? Go highlight this click activity. Go to the property panel, and there is something called timeouts. So for this timeout, generally this will be 30 30 uh, seconds as per the activity project settings. But I want to keep it as five. Second, so I will say 5,000. Okay, it's in milliseconds. So 5,000 milliseconds is equal to five seconds. So what would happen now if you run it and I have closed the notepad? The notepad is already closed on my system. So what would happen after five seconds? Okay, after five seconds, it will throw an error. Right? It cannot. Okay. So after five seconds, it can throw an error. So what is one thing you have learned? To reduce the 30 seconds, millisecond, you know, you want to experiment quickly. You can use the timeout. That is one of the learning. I also will go to the retry scope. Just give me a second. I want to really focus on something. So what happened? The moment the click activity started running after five seconds, it has thrown this error. Click menu item for file. No open window found. Right? It could not find. And what is the exception type? UI path dot code dot selector not found. It cannot find the selector. So this is understood. Okay. Now what would happen if I am going to put this activity inside a retry scope? Okay. So lot of experiment and lot of learning, guys. Retry scope because only when you know details, you'll be able to, you'll be able to answer the questions. Okay. So within the action activity, I'm going to drag and drop the click activity. Okay. Now retry scope. Look at the property. The first property is number of retries. So let's let me say three. I want to try it for three times, and click on OK. And the next one is retry interval. 
So retry interval uh, after uh, each how many seconds you want to give a retry. So let's say I want to give it a retry. Um, so this is in time span. Okay, remember this is in time span format. So I have to write it in this format 0 0. So I want to retry after every two seconds. Click on OK. So these two properties understood. Now tell me there is a condition here. Now in this condition activity, what activity can you put? I am telling you there is only one activity. For example, if you try assign activity, can I put it assign activity? The moment you try, try to drag to the condition box, do you see this uh, black color? No, no symbol is coming. None of the activity can do. For example, in our question, what are those activities? For example, we'll try from the bottom on element appear. Can you put on element appear? No, nothing you can put apart from one activity on element appear, on element vanish, nothing you can put. Okay, you can't put. How about if activity? You can't even put a message box. Leave about if activity. So if, if do not work. Let's say message box, assign activity. You can try with all the activities. None of the activities you can drag and drop inside the condition. There's only one activity which you can do. Path exist. Can you, can the path exist come? No. Answer is no. See, look at this. I can't drag in, drop it. But there is only one activity which will work. That is element exists. Okay, with the retry scope, the activity that works is element exists. Okay, so element exists. Let me try it fully. Okay, so this is the activity. If you drag, you can see it is getting you the plus sign to add okay this is the activity so the answer is quite clear but we are not done here guys we have to learn so many things because the same question won't appear i'm telling you so here i have dragged and dropped the element exist so the element exist is the answer now what i would do let open the notepad okay and click on indicate on screen and i'm going to indicate this okay so what would happen what is the understanding right what is the understanding it will retry click activity how many times will it retry it will retry for if you highlight the retry scope three times in every two seconds and when it's supposed to retry only when it the condition is element exist if it does not find the element does not exist then it will retry again it will retry the moment the notepad is open within this three retry let's say you are opening the notepad then it will click okay so how many times it will retry three times to experiment always try to put a message box below this retry scope so that we know if that is completed if it is coming to this so i will say um, run you can say a uh, project finished okay or project uh, whatever you like to type okay project finished or project completed whatever you want to say so now i have typed it so what would happen as per the uh, as per the option here let's say I have, I have kept the notepad open and if you run this if you run this what would happen the notepad is open okay so the, the execution has started what would happen see it has clicked on notepad so the moment it clicked so what would happen the message box should appear the next is the message box has appeared project finished so what is happening uh, what is our understanding now if the retry scope activity in the within the action within the action if the action was able to complete its task right then it will go to the next activity in the sequence okay the read it will exit the retry scope and go to the next activity now the problem is that is the best case scenario what if the notepad is closed so what would happen it will try three times so first thing you while you are experimenting try to reduce the timeout milliseconds okay let me reduce for the condition. I'm doing it for the condition. Element exists and I'm going to time out. And here, uh, let me say two seconds. Always read this. It is an integer, right? So I'm saying, saying 2000 milliseconds. That is two seconds. So every two seconds is supposed to try. So let's do it. I have closed the notepad. Let's debug it. So look at the workflow, how it is running. That is important. Then I'm going to enable the continue on error. I will tell you how it works. So now notepad is not there. What would happen? It will wait for 
what is the timeout millisecond we have given? Two seconds. So what happened? It has thrown an error. No open window form, right? But because it is in continue on uh, retry scope, it will again retry. So look at this. Again, it has come to the click activity, right? Again, it has come to the click activity. Again, it has thrown no open window. Let's say in the third time, let me open the notepad. Third, uh, when it's going to do the, so let's continue. So now the notepad is open. So you can see it has op went to the notepad and clicked on it. So that means how it is working, the moment it finds the element, it can execute. Within that, three retries we have mentioned in the retry scope. The important property here is continue on error. Okay, so every time you saw the last output, every time the notepad, uh, notepad was not there, it was trying to click and it could not find it thrown an error. But this error did not stop the project because it is in the retry scope. That is the point you should remember. It did not stop our project reason being it is in the retry scope, right? But after three failures, so at the third time I have opened it. So it was successful and it has shown the message project finished, right? But what if I do not enable the, uh, so by default, this will remain uh, false. Okay, by default, this will be false. Now, for all the three times, if the notepad is not open, for example, at this point of time, my notepad is closed. So what would happen? It will try those many three times and it will continue to throw that error. Did I run it or did I debug it? Okay, let's stop it. Let's debug it so that we can see that. Okay, so the notepad is closed. Okay, click, it went to the click activity. Now within two seconds, it has thrown one error, but the project should not stop because it is in the retry scope. So this should be our understanding. Now it, it, it trying for the second time. See, no open. So at this point, if you simply click, use a click activity, the project will stop. The moment the click activity gives an error. Now the project is stopping. No, it will do one more retry. So what would happen after the third retry? So even now the notepad is closed, right? So after the third retry, the project will fail. So continue. So let's say, so retry scope as an activity, you will see what is the next uh, activity message box. It will not go to the message box. So if you continue while you are debugging, see it has stopped the project and the message box activity did not execute at all because for this activity, we have not enabled retry scope. Now in this such a case, wherever you think, okay, even though it fails, you should go to the next activity and do the, you know, continue with that activity. In those areas, if I enable retry scope, okay, let's enable, click on this and this should be true. Now, if you enable what would happen, let's, so you understood, right? So let's quickly run it so that it executes quite faster. So at the end, after certain, after three uh, retries, it will automatically show me the message box. Okay. I'm doing a run mode. I'm in the run mode. Okay. So you'll not find anything happening over the screen. So let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, now you can see it has executed the message box project finished. So continue on error behavior you have understood. Now tell me what would happen if I put it, put the retry scope inside a, a try catch block. Let's say, let me surround this with a try catch block. So the retry scope is now surra surrounded with try catch block and for the retry scope, continue on error is enabled. So continue on error means what? If after doing a three retries, okay, whatever the retry attempts you have mentioned, after doing those many retries, if the activity still can't perform the action, that time the error is thrown. Now, if the error is thrown, if you have enabled continue on error, what would happen? What is the property says? If you have enabled continue on error, it will move on to the next activity. So, so what would happen if you are if you have enabled continue on error? and it is surrounded with the try catch block 
this is not going to throw an exception to the catch section of the try catch block okay it will not going to throw an exception to the so let's experiment that so click on add new and let's select uh, system exception and add a message box okay so all this uh, experiments are very very important so add a message box into the exception and i'm going to show the exception message to you simply by typing this variable exception dot message okay now the first thing we will try for the retry scope i am going to uncheck the true so that means it is false continue on it false so we'll try for three times after trying for three times it is going to throw an error right this activity will throw an error as an activity it will throw an error now once the error is thrown that will be caught by the catch section in the try catch block and in the exception is going to show this message okay that is what is expected behavior what we want now so let's debug it and see this and then we'll also enable the continue on error after this and we are going to see the behavior okay so it is trying so there is a uh, error exception but the project won't stop right you can still continue the project okay this is again came for the second first time okay this is the second time hit on continue this exception mechanism th that is what it helps the project won't stop it will continue or retry right so continue <clears throat> so what happened after doing the three retries it came to the catch section do you see it went to the catch section of the try catch block this is very important okay it went to the catch section no open window this exception message has been shown because i have used a message box within the catch section of the try catch block so this is understood now after that anyways it's going to go to the message box and show the final message that we wanted to appear so this is done but what would happen if you go to the uh, retry scope in the try uh, block and i need i will enable true so this is very important question if you enable true uh, for the retry scope activity continue on error if it is true if it is surrounded by try catch block what would happen will it go to what would be the output is the output will be uh, project finished so project finished will anyways run but will it show exception dot message true or false it won't show exception dot message even though after three retries so the notepad is still closed it is anyways going to throw an error but i have enabled continue on error that's why it won't go to the catch section of this um, flow okay so let's debug it and i'm going to explain so all these experiments are very very important guys you will get all these tricky questions and you should be able to answer okay first try so there is a error let's hit on continue there is a second error let's continue okay now there should be third one okay now you see it won't go to the catch section see it did not go to the catch section at all what is the output came project finished came so it did not go so the, your answer is it will not go to catch section if continue on error is enabled so this is not uh, true for only retry scope it could be any activity within the try catch block if the continue on error is enabled it won't go to the catch section okay guys so very good learning please continue your learning like this experiment everything that i'm doing on your own also so that you understand and maintain a notebook and whatever you have learned from this video write it in your own words okay because that revising that one is very very important guys thank you so much take care we are going to meet in our next video bye bye